Hello, my name is Gadex Norefiles, and when I'm not in drag, my name is Adrian Murray Blount, and I'm a performance artist based here in Berlin. I also am the house mother, father, parent of House of Living Colors, which is a collective that explores gender commentary, gender imposition, gender expression through performance, and it's specifically for queer and trans, black, indigenous, people of color. So uh, for me, intersectionality means that through colonialism and white supremacy, <laughs> people are marginalized on multiple areas of oppression, which means for me, being a black, trans, non-binary, dark-skinned, uh, female, socialized person, um, that I have all of these intersections of oppression and marginalization. And by recognizing that I have these, it means that I'm able to kind of understand how I have to navigate them and how I have to navigate the world in order to get the best possible outcome for my success and also my security in this world. And um, what I do when I practice intersectionality within my work, I'm able to understand the different like levels and intersections of oppression that the people I'm working with go through in, in order to better hold space for them. So the ways that I practice intersectionality in my work is through making sure that I'm able to be paid a wage that I can live off of because I'm a freelancer and being a freelancer out here is hard, especially because people are constantly trying to take advantage of you. And when you're a dark skinned person and you're a queer person, they feel like you should just be grateful to get any opportunity. Um, and then when I come to them with my approach, I make it very clear that I understand my value and I understand my intersections and I understand how hard it is for me to even get into the door um, as a person with my body. And so I make it very clear that if you're offering me an opportunity, I understand that it's based on my worth. And so I'm going to tell you what my worth is when I'm approaching you um, to give me work. <laughs> and um, within my practice with my theater collective, House of Living Colors, I make sure that every single person who's participating in this collective also knows their worth. And if they don't, I help them, I teach them, um, and I let them know that they are valuable and that um, they are so much more than the extent of their identities. I also understand that I'm working with people who are in this country and are unable to work as freelancers, are unable to work as artists because we live in a very imperialistic, hierarchical, hegemonic society, which likes to classify people based on you know, their beruf. So also in Germany, in order to perform a certain job, you have to be registered as that profession, right? And so when I work with people who have a refugee status or when I work with people who um, are not registered at, in a, as an artist or as a freelance artist, then I have to find a way to be able to compensate them that is not bureaucratic, <laughs> so to speak. And so like our, so my job as the house parent would find a way to get their invoices written um, or to even myself write their invoice by understanding that they should still have access to opportunities without having to jump through bureaucratic hoops. Also, when it comes to House of Living Colors, it's all about opportunity. And I keep saying opportunity, opportunity, because based in because with intersectionality, these intersectional layers of marginalization, opportunity becomes scarce. And so by recognizing the intersections of the participants in House of Living Colors, I am able to provide more opportunities. And by the way, I have a baby, they make noise, okay? <laughs> They're making noise. <laughs>
<laughs> there, I'll just say it. Like, if you hear noise, it's my baby. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs>